Hi, in this video, we're going to learn how to group shapes and how to edit them. All right, so here you can see in this project, I have a person here standing right at the center of this canvas. And what we want to do is we want to move around this person from one position to another position with some keyframes. So to do that, first of all, we need to convert all these layers into one single group, into one single layer. Because right now, this person is made up of six different layers. You can see here, this is the head. So if I can just show you, they are all separate layers. So you can see this is the body of the layer, the men, and these are the legs. So let's go ahead and undo all these and bring them all together. So let's go ahead and group them. So to group all these uh, layers, we need to tap long press on any of these thumbnails over here. Okay, let's go ahead and long press on this circle thumbnail. So long press, you can see now the layer is turned into green. All right, also over here, it is now highlighted with green, you know, borders over here. So let's go ahead and tap. You don't have to long press again. Just tap on the thumbnail. It's going to turn into green. And if you tap on the, uh, mistakenly, if you tap on the icon, the, the eye icon, it's not going to turn into green, but it's going to, you know, hide that layer because this is hide and unhide. So let's go ahead and tap again because it's a toggle button. So let's go ahead and tap on the thumbnail. So you can see it is now highlighted and tap again. So you can see all the six layers are now highlighted right here in the canvas as well. And also you can see on the top, the there is a menu option when you select multiple layers. So you have uh, three different options over here. First is to group all these layers. And the second one is the masking option. And then the third one is exclusion. Okay, we're going to be covering masking and exclusion in our next video. But for now, let's go ahead and tap on the first icon. So let's say tap. And you can see here the first icon is the grouping icon. So all those layers are now turned into one single layer. So you can see we have just one layer and with a new name called group one. So we can tap on this layer group one and also go here and rename this on the top. Let's go here. And let's call this as men and then hit enter. And you can see we have renamed this layer into a new name. All right, so let's go ahead at the beginning of this timeline and let's very quickly give some animation. So let's go ahead and tap on move and transform and make sure you are on position icon. So let's tap on the keyframe. A keyframe has now been added. So first of all, on this keyframe, I'm gonna move this guy somewhere about here. Okay, so we're gonna move this person from left to the right. So let's go ahead and on the timeline, I'm going to move this person somewhere on to the right, just like this. Okay, so we have uh, animation now. Let's go ahead and give it a play. You can see here, the person is moving from left to the right. Okay, so it is now very easy because it is just one single unit. You can see we have the bounding box, just one single piece. All right, so now if you want to make edit to a group, you need to tap on that group layer. And then let's go ahead and edit group. Tap on the edit group and it will take you to a transparent background like this. And you can see all the layers that makes up that group. So we got six different layers that makes up this group. So to make any changes to individual layers, you need to select on that layer. So let's go ahead and tap on this you know, body of this shape. And I'm going to change this color to the color of the hands. So you can see here we now have some uniform top. And then I'm going to go back, and you can see here, we now have that person coming back over here. All right, now if I give it a play, you can see here, we have that edit changes applied to this group. All right, so now, what if you want to add some items? You can again do that. Let's tap on edit group, and then let's go ahead, and let's go to plus icon. Let's say I want to add some hat to, let's go ahead, I'm going to tap on this shape. I'm going to make this something like this, you know, somewhat like this. Okay, I'm going to come here and position it right on top of this guy, just like this. All right, now you can see here we have added another shape to this group. Now if I go back to the main thing, you can see here now it is added to this person. If I give it a play, you can see here it is now added to that group and it's going to follow that same animation. All right, so this is about grouping shapes and to edit a shape. In our next video, we're going to be learning masking and exclusion.